you still look like you're 18 to me. In fact, you look like you're twice the woman you were when I met you. Okay, you know what? Sip it. Step out the car. You want a hand? Here we are. We're in Lago, Florida, in a place that Carla, she spent the first 15 years that we lived here, right down the block, coming to this place every single day. Not every single day. I know because I got the credit card statements to prove it, okay? This girl knows every single inch about this entire shopping center. This is a typical grocery anchored necessity shopping center retail triple net. Number one, great location in our own neighborhood. We only live five minutes away, but it's all about the numbers. Am I emotionally attached to this place? Yeah, I'm emotionally attached because I've been here a couple of times myself. It's all about the numbers. You can't be emotional. All right, when you start getting emotional, you start buying things you can't afford. Anyway, and by the way, I'm sick right now. I've been in bed for three, two, two days or three days now, okay? I got an infection in my leg, and it's got my whole body feeling like shit. So I'm sick, we're gonna so get the agent on the phone and find out the real deal about this place. That's what we're gonna do number-wise. Because you will get bullshitted even in your own neighborhood. The people that own this probably don't they probably live in another country for all we know. Do you understand what's going on today? Yes, sir. Yes, all right? I do. You're out of your normal, your normal whatever you call it. You know, give me straight story here. What comes the with it? The public's not the Walmart, yeah? The yes, public's the public. not the Walmart. What comes with it? The Bank of America, correct. No, no, it's not. The Bank of America is not. It's attached to the building. It's an out parcel. It's oh my, that close to the building is an out parcel? Yes. And who owns that? It's a separate owner. Motherfucker. What? How could you be That's a fucking agent? Six. He's trying to sell me property and you don't know how many tenants are in the goddamn building. How many there's, tenants there's, are in that building? <laughs> there are six, six, there are six, uh... six tenants. Uh, you call people up. They're trying to make a commission on selling your real estate deal, and he can't tell you the information that any idiot would know. And Carla used to go to that nail spa at least four out of seven days a week. They treat. They have wine waiting for her in there. They have champagne waiting for her in there. She expanded. She did. She made it. That bigger. looks like almost new construction. It is. They made so much money off of Carla. They were able to no, expand their store to no, double. No, What's important to the ear is to know is, this is not our building, but this could be. Right. We're right up against each other. So now Thank this you. place has been totally remodeled. This yes, this public's this is here. Remodeled. That's why Carla likes this place. Say, get, I get close to the beach and mark the price at like 30%. Well, you know why they do that? Because the cost of the beach. No, because the cost of rent is more, so they have to make up for it being okay. close to the beach. So this is you don't think right. You don't think like a business person. You think like a little whining consumer. You don't realize the landlord's got expenses. Right. If you're close to the beach, you pay more money for the real estate, you pay more rent, so you got to charge a little bit more because the landlord wants more. So this is a donation place where people can come and bring stuff. That's actually a really good thing. I might come bring some of my clothes here that are getting too big for me. Oh, and then you got the dollar store here, which oh, I think you used a, to hit for every time you had a party. This is the best dollar store ever. Everybody comes to the dollar store because it's the best one. She used to come here for every party and she used to have parties at least once a week. Well, the theme is good. Like you can go and buy plates for a dollar cups for a dollar and if they break them who cares they're only a dollar good next time you need to buy a pair of shoes buy them for a dollar nah, no. the point is is that by buying this place if i drop dead tomorrow which could possibly happen well, let's hope not she will have something that she's familiar with that's going to bring her an income without no real major headache you can't set her up with any better real estate than that Aww. It's in her own neighborhood. She should have an interest in taking care of it and making the money off of it. But we still can't play on those emotions. Even though I have emotions for her and I want to protect her, it still has to make sense. 
Because if it don't make sense, it don't make dollars. This could be something that would protect her after I'm dead. It's like a 20-something million dollar investment. Aww, so it would take a chunk of money that she can't screw up when I'm dead and piss away that'll protect her and Erin, no matter who she runs away with. Aww, I'm not gonna run with nobody. So let's take a look at the second piece we get with this. I didn't even know there was a laundry bed here. Now I can guarantee in 18 years that she's been coming here, this is one place she ain't never been. Nope. Ever. Look at see. Typically, you would never see two haircut places in the same center. But in this case, it kind of works really well. Because that place is really like high end, full service, big time, nice old lady stuff. This one here is where you come in, you get your hair cut, you get the hell out. It's mostly for a different generation of people. Typically, you wouldn't see the two same businesses in the same center. They compete off each other, that's not gonna happen. In fact, there's restrictions in your leases that tell you that. You can't rent to some other haircut place. But this is like a perfect marriage here. High end, express end. You know, very good. Then we gotta figure out, this is a little bit of a bonus if we buy the place where we'll get a little more money coming in if we can find a good tenant to go in here. Think about what goes in here. That's your mission from now until I die to figure out who to rent that to. I, I personally never been here. You've never been inside? Don't lie. Don't you lie to me, God damn it. Have you ever been inside this bar no, before? I've never been. You've been coming here for 18 years in shop and said you never went in this bar once. No, I never. Never. Been this it's a big ass bar. And I've been in a bar business. It can be trouble. All right, so we walked the whole damn plaza. That's the story. What do you think? We got empty space to rent out. The bar worries me, even though it's been here a long time. The bar owner dies then the bars don't end up being as good as they used to be and they lose that crowd. So he might have a crowd now, but all these alcoholics are gonna be dead probably in the next five years. So where does that leave her with a big ass empty space? Okay. Maybe she'll open up her own bar. Carlitas Margaritas. Oh my God. Well, take it easy. No, because I'm talking a lot. It's using my lungs up. It's hurting my stomach and my body's infected right now. So I'm a wreck. I'm really going through a lot of pain. At least give me a couple of likes there, you know? Or dislikes, I don't care. Let this guy come through. I like more likes. I don't like dislike. I like likes. So if you guys can do likes, we would appreciate it. And I like dislikes. And this is a great thing because I'm watching people bring their kids in here. So now I'm starting to have some respect for this bar. All right, so let's go sit down and check this place out. How many are there? Four of us? Yeah. Here we are. You well, know, this is not bad. This is not, we never been, I never been it's here. It's a so great place. Cool. But I'm afraid when these people that are coming in now, they're pretty, uh, you know, senior. If they stop coming, will the next generation people still keep coming here? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're screwing up. This is supposed to be the busiest day of the year for a typical Irish bar like this. This is the busiest day. With COVID, we better check it at night. I know it's COVID, yeah. What are we thirsty for? Oh. You know, not one person orders a beer or say, Patrick, that's pretty sad. You can have uh, a beer, I'm right? Sure. What about you? You can drink a beer. You're Polish. Yeah, no, I'll take water. Uh, oh, what a I group this I'm, is. I'm not going to do a beer. Okay. Yeah, the only person to do it is a woman. Not even on St. Patty's Day, they're not gonna serve a corned beef sandwich? So what the prices are too cheap. What happened? They're not gonna be able to pay their rent. Do you feel it? I gotta feel it, you know? Do you feel it? Yeah, I've been feeling it. I've been feeling the pain and the pleasure. It's about 50 50. I like the way you, you should keep your mask on yeah. all the time. Oh my God, I'm sitting down. Take mask. <laughs> she normally makes me wear one that covers my whole head. No, I do not. And she starts talking in Spanish, which I don't understand, but I do hear names. Stop with the names and you'll be all right. What? Have you gotten your stimulus checks yet? No, I don't think we qualify. We make too much goddamn money. And why people that make money don't get money, I don't understand. That's not fair. God damn, I feel so sorry for <laughs> It's not fair. Well, Just because I make too much money, I don't get no help. 
I got I got bigger money. Hey, I got bigger yeah. problems. I got bigger yeah. expenses. The That's typical right. guy's mortgage hey, is some people cost them five grand a month to, to, to run their house. God, it cost me more than twenty five grand with with this uh, gold digger I got. Hey, hey, you pick her. When are you getting yours? Today. Today, congratulations. Here's to your Yay. stimulus money. Yay. When are you going to track tomorrow? Yay for not getting much money. <laughs> People like me paid for it. Just remember that, okay? The rich that no, don't you get it. You, you think it's easy being rich? <laughs> your taxes are way too low. Okay. Then you never get rich if your taxes are high. What's the point? That's why you're not rich. Hey, how would you like to buy some hotels? I got some for sale right now. <laughs> You know how much money I lost in my hotels? Imagine having something that was worth 40 million bucks and now it's only worth 20 million bucks. Do you know how that could feel? It sucks. And you're getting a stimulus check. I'm the one who needs a stimulus. I need to be stimulated. I'm really rich. We knew he was not really rich. He ain't poor, baby. He ain't poor. He is. I guarantee you, he owes more than he owes. So everybody, that's how you get rich. We don't. I'm not rich You're rich because you use the bank's money. That's how you get rich. Yeah, right, right. Then you worry about. You worry about it later. Then you worry about your dance. By the time they collect, I'll be dead and they'll go after her. What do I care? <laughs> do you come here all the he time? He don't buy no food. He don't. What? How you doing? <laughs> do you He's come one here of the cheap time? customers. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. Must be a relative of Matt's. All right, let me see your ID. How about that? Make no, you feel better? No, I don't worry. You still look like you're 18 to me. In fact, you look like you're twice the woman you were when I met you. Okay, you know what? Zip it. I got more for my money. Okay, you know, just... I like it because you're familiar with it. Right. And whether you like it or not, you and Aaron are gonna have to have something to do with understanding or at least knowing about and the more you're involved the better in real estate when I'm no longer here. Right. It's a fact. I feel like this is something a widow would own. A local widow would own something like this. You know, something she knows, something she's familiar with. Put me a widow already? It's a place that I can I can uh, defer 1031 exchange money right. and you ain't got to pay for when I die. I mean, it's something I really have you in mind for. You know, I got to start making sure that everybody's kind of set up because you're all used to the easy life. Ben worrying about everything. There's going to be a time when you ain't got Ben to worry about it. So if I do it now and get it out of my way, then that's one big major thing I got to worry about no more of you pissing away all the money with some young Spanish guy. At least you'll have something to keep you going. Why do you always think that it's always going to be a young whatever, Spanish whatever. guy? Whatever, whatever. Why do you always think it's Spanish guy? Because I ain't young and I ain't Spanish. Was that? The, yeah. And everybody always wants what they ain't got. So, uh, why do people always ask why I'm yelling? Because I like to fucking yell. It gets my point across. You know, if I didn't give a fuck, I wouldn't yell. If I give a fuck, I yell. So we went out and we looked at a property, I believe will protect my wife and family when I'm gone. Now that she's had the pleasure of not having to worry about any of this stuff for the past almost 20 years. But one day, the day will come, well, I will no longer be here. How do you know I'm not going first? Well, you never know nothing, but the point is, chances are, I'll be gone, Okay. you'll be without me, and you'll be like a lamb in a den of wolves, ready to get slaughtered, because that's what's out there. And if you don't know what to do. how to handle and what mm -hmm. to do, you're gonna be in trouble. And I know you got Aaron to help you, a little Ben will be there to help you regardless of what you think, and Vincent will be there too, regardless of what you think. Uh, your sister's there, but ultimately, they're not going to have the power you're going to have. Right. You're going to have the power. I don't like to have the power. I but like the power. if you pay attention and you follow Ben's easy steps to becoming a widow, 
I'm not, I'm seriously. And how to survive without your sugar daddy. This will help you. Okay. You're definitely not my sugar right. daddy. But okay, go ahead. I'm not your sugar daddy? Who is? <laughs> Nobody is. What am I? I mean, I got <laughs> bullshit. I got high sugar because of you. <laughs> you know, I had an accident. I got one arm in the grave already. Uh, I need you to do the writing. I can't write. I do everything with my right. I can't write with my left. What's wrong with your left? I can't write with my left. You can do anything with your left? Yeah. The only thing I can do with my left Smoke that I didn't have to treat to learn is smoke. smoke okay, that luckily, I, and as long as I can do that with my left, I'm good. Okay. Everything else, I, you don't know what it's been like. What else? Um, <laughs> yes, I have. Don't forget. <laughs> it's not that complicated. Don't think everything's so complicated. It's so simple to, for you to own and operate that type of shopping center. Yeah, and I want you to understand the financials behind it. Right, that is more important. So you important. understand, right. you know, where your money's at, where it's coming from, and how the whole process works, okay? okay? Got it. Widow 101. Help you. All right, so let's say we paid a guy 20 million bucks. Okay. Can you write 20 million? Comma, very good. How <laughs> many zeros? <laughs> Three more. <laughs> You're kidding me. That was two. Oh. We're gonna put it on the calculator too, okay? Because okay. I sure don't trust your math. You just had a swipe. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Two million, 20 million big ones. Ooh, that's a lot of money. We're not paying it. It's not gonna be our money. Oh. We're gonna go to your friends over at the big bankers that you met. We go to the bank and we get 80%. 20 minus 16 is $4 million. L let me borrow 16 million. And then I have only to put down four million. Very good. You see I good. swear. <laughs> She's like a Mexican blonde. Twenty million dollar shopping center. Got it. Bank gives us sixteen million. We're gonna put four million bucks of your money in there. We're gonna get in this situation a million dollars in rental income. Your all your favorite stores there are gonna pay you, okay? Okay. So that should be going in my pocket. Okay. Well, but wait, didn't okay, you your pocket just, picked? Okay. Your pocket's gotta get gonna, picked. I was just gonna ask. Well, well, Is it gonna go all in your pocket, but then you well, gotta happen with the, the, the bank. Now you owe the bank 16 million bucks. We will lock a good rate in. Let's say worst case, 3%. I know okay. I can lock in at 3% right now. Added a million bucks, you're gonna have to give the bank 480,000 of it to pay for the 16 million. I have to pay them back. <laughs> Out of the million, you got to take away 480000 Oh, Be lucky. That's all you got to take out. Okay. Here we go. You get a million bucks in rent. Right. You got to give the bank their interest payment of 480000 Mm-hmm. That leaves you $520,000. Oh, Jesus. Now, that's going to be your true money to go out and piss away and live off of. Okay. You divide that by 12, you'll have 43,000 bucks a month to go out and piss away. Okay. There's a problem with that. Uh, I was just gonna say. Does that sound like a lot of money to a lot of people? 43,000 bucks a month for this poor girl to have to support the lifestyle that I've accommodated her for? It ain't. Mm -mm. <laughs> 43,000 might cover to run this house with your housekeepers, and you're probably gonna keep Matt around and steal him away too, and have him do it, taking the kids here and there. I know he's loyal and dedicated, but I don't think okay, you can go then. to that extreme. Okay, then. Well, so okay, that's then. practically the money you're gonna need to buy groceries, pay the mortgage, all the bills around here. That's what it's gonna cost. Okay. That shopping center question. will protect your roof over your head and cover your ass. Okay, I have a question though. What about, do I have to pay the, like, the insurance from the company? Okay, the beauty of, the, of retail triple net commercial. Uh -huh. the, the triple net means, and did I just do this Thursday night? You were, oh, you were drunk while you were sitting there. No, she comes to the drunk. goddamn seminar and comes to the show. But what does she do? She just gets drunk and heckles me, okay? She ain't paying attention. You okay. understand the, the, the basics of it. Yes, All right? I understand the basics of it, yes. The tenants give you a million bucks to rent. You, all you gotta do is pay the fucking bank okay, every that's month. It. And that's it, because the tenants are responsible for Everything, paying you back. They got to pay you every month their portion of the property taxes, their portion of the insurance, their portion of the maintenance. It's called CAM. Okay. 
Um, am I yelling? Why am I yelling? I don't know. That's what I was trying to figure out. Why are you yelling at me? I don't but, yell. <laughs> Just I so know. I can get it in that brain. I, I want to <laughs> get it in there. All right, go ahead. Tell me. C A M. Common Area Maintenance. And if a place is empty, then you got to pay that it. share yeah. because you got nobody there paying it and still got to get paid. You can't make the other tenants pay it. Got it. Any questions? Comment. Any questions for her? Don't comment. <laughs> 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 so All right. If you want help in a deal, go to consult with Ben. BenMello.com. You talk to Rafal. You set up an appointment. We sit on the phone. We talk about whatever the hell you want to talk about, provided it's close to real estate. So you leave me this property. So that's saying not only me, but whatever. What's really going to change except another man in your life? You're still going to go to play tennis. You're still going to son in school or in your life. You know, you still got all your life. You're still going to maintain the house. You still got cars to worry about, you know, so you're going to have more than you need to just live the way you've been living. Probably better because now you'll have access to a plane, uh, you'll have a yacht. <laughs> you have all those fucking toys and all that shit. You're gonna do the same shit you've always done, no. except I'm not gonna be there to worry about every little thing for you anymore. You worry about the plane, you worry about the boat, and the captain, and the pilot, and the expense, and all that shit. No, you worry about all that shit. Some breaks in the house? Well, you got Matt to help you. But even Matt needs help. Ask people if they like this part of the video, if you want more of these kinds of videos. Rafal wants to know if you like more of this type of video, and if you do, make a comment, tell us, like it, do something, I don't know. Oh yeah, definitely do not forget, click the like button. Then I know that you guys do like him, and I don't mind him doing more videos. Alright, adios amigos.